Howdy friends! Happy Wednesday! It is Wednesdays with the Weibles. I am Mary. And I'm Andre. <laughs> and we are the Weibles. And tonight we are making some delicious vegan hummus and veggie pasta. Um, it has a couple extra steps, so we're going to go ahead and just get started. Andre's putting on some light jazz music for us so that we're not oh, just at the kitchen. I was, think, I was thinking reggae, is that oh, right? Oh, well that, yeah, as long as Facebook doesn't block our music, then that should be fine, or yeah. our audio, that would suck. Um, so tonight, what you should start with is putting the noodles on to cook. So with the veggie pasta, essentially you're making hummus, and then you're just sauteing up a bunch of veggies, and you put it in with the pasta, Veggie pasta. <laughs> veggie hummus, hummus and veggie pasta. Um, so what I'm going to start making now is... Sorry, y'all. <laughs> what I'm going to start making is the hummus. And that needs... Can you turn it down just yes, a little bit? Yes, I will turn it down. Because I really don't want our audio to be cut off. Because <laughs> um, we love Bob Marley, but unfortunately he's very picky about who uses his music. So oh, <laughs> it's the It's the trademark, I'm sure, of the... Or the copyright? I don't know. Of the audio. Um, so, hummus. I'm going to open up a can of garbanzo beans. I don't even think I grabbed it yet. So we use Natural Grocers garbanzo beans because they sell organic ones for 99 cents and we are all about that. So, gonna get some garbanzo beans. What are you doing? Oh, you got garbanzo beans out. You're so sweet. Okay. Alright friends, I'm going to move the blender just slightly. Okie doke. So to make this hummus, it's super simple actually. You literally, you can make hummus out of almost anything, I swear. Like, besides, I mean obviously like the base being garbanzo beans, but you can make bell pepper hummus, you can make dessert hummus. Um, really anything. <laughs> oh no! I got the Brussels sprout hat. Dang it! God. Why you don't just rinse off in the sink? What? Yeah, if you drop it on the ground, you can just rinse it off in the sink. No, Five second rule. No. Alright, so I'm just straining the can of garbanzo beans. Some people like to keep the aquafaba, it makes it like, um, more fluffy, I guess that could be a way to describe it. Um, but I don't like to use a bunch of the aquafaba. I like it more dense. Um, since this recipe, so we're kind of modifying this recipe a little bit. Oh, that was so loud. Um, we're modifying the recipe just a little bit because... As we tend to do. Yeah. Because um, a lot of people, what they do, it's very akin to like feta pasta, like feta tomato pasta bake or whatever that a lot of people are doing, you know, where they like cut all the tomatoes in half, they put it in a dish, and then they put the feta cheese like in the middle, and then you put it in the oven and you take it out and it's like magically that. Um, we made something like that before, but uh, what we're going to try to do is do kind of like the same thing but with hummus, and instead of putting it in the oven, we're going to put it, we're just going to like saute up all the veggies and then add the hummus in uh, once all the veggies are like soft so that it gets kind of warm. Cause like the really the only reason to put it in the oven is in my brain is just to like get it nice and warm. And Andre <laughs> thinks that it's to like get everything all, you know, so the simmered flavors, together. So flavors can get to know each other as friends in the casserole dish. But well, they can do the same thing on the skillet. Hi grandma! I, I miss you so much. Um, that's why I messaged you like yesterday. <laughs> um, but we're making veggie and hummus, hummus and veggie pasta. I I keep switching the words. Whatever around. rolls off the tongue. Whatever right? comes first. It's fine. Okay. So in goes the garbanzo beans. All right. Perfect. And then you're gonna want to shell probably. Two to three, three, three cloves of garlic. You it, think? It depends on how much you use for the hummus. I don't, I don't know. I use three cloves. She uses three cloves, but keep in mind, she doesn't blend up the the 
like the mixture so the garlic becomes like nice and fine. She leaves it in nice little chunks. And it still disperses the garlic flavor really nice. But like, just keep in mind if you have a high powered blender and you mince the crap out of those um, onion cloves, garlic cloves, they, if you, if you blend them too fine, you're not gonna be able to eat your hummus because that garlic is gonna overpower the hummus so much yeah. that it's gonna make it spicy and it's gonna burn your mouth when you eat it. Shit you not, kid you not, sorry. <laughs> um, yeah, but anyway, just as a little side note, she uses three cloves. I use three cloves of garlic. <laughs> After that story. After the tangent. Personal experience talking here. <laughs> you can have more on you? Yeah. Oh, okay. Just figured we could use a little more. Okay. That's enough though. So, three cloves of garlic in there. And then, we're adding in our tahini. I'm gonna use the rest of this roasted garlic tahini. So I think this is gonna be so good as like a base for the pasta because it's gonna make it kind of like a garlicky pasta, um, which is gonna be really good. So I'm gonna go in with the tahini. I need my spoon. No! <laughs> So, I'm gonna go ahead and just put in, I'd say probably like, like four or five tablespoons, just enough to kind of cover the top of everything. I'm, you guys know we're not super, <laughs> super technical with the measurements or anything. Jeez. Hi, Tina! Thanks for joining! We're making hummus and veggie pasta today. Hi, Tina. I'm so excited. So this is one recipe that we just kind of came up, well, we didn't come up with, but we were as we were researching recipes, we saw that it was really popular. And another great thing about it is that uh, it is 30 day approved. So right now I'm doing the uh, 30 days to healthy living with a um, combination of like my Arbonne products and just like our uh, all of our menus and our uh, grocery lists and everything that goes along with the program. So. I'm doing the 30 day right now and um, this is one recipe that I think will definitely be an indulgence. <laughs> I'm so excited um, to especially just try it because we haven't made it before. So, alright, I might add just a tad bit more of the ooh, tahini. Try not to put it on the counter, jeez. Okay. I happened to open up this this other can because they didn't have the, well, we used like the Sprouts, wow, I just spit all over myself. We used the Sprouts brand, I like the Sprouts, we used the Sprouts brand uh, tahini, but I just ran over to Natural Grocers today because I didn't want to drive all the way to Sprouts. And uh, so we picked up this Sesame Tahini by Joiva. We'll see. Well, if it'll open. Guys, this should not be a struggle. Okay, here we go, here we go. <laughs> I'm like, I know how to open a can for Jesus' sake. Okay. Sahini so always smells faintly of peanut butter to me. I don't it I mean, it's a nut, nut. yeah. Who so loved... It's not the same thing, but I just thought about the <laughs> the sun butter sandwiches at school when we were kids. I liked those. Did you like those? I never had them. You never had the sun butter sandwiches? No. I went to Olathe North. We did not <laughs> have sun butter sandwiches. What are you saying? I'm, well, <laughs> I'm saying that... Are you speaking against a school district? Sometimes they would take my lunch if I didn't have enough. Wow. Wow. I, mean, I just saw in the news that I think it's in California that like every kid will have like a free lunch or something. Not dogging it. I mean, high I school was the time. Pay for that. Taxpayers. Taxpayers. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I mean, I'd say that's a worthy cause. Yeah. Um, Make sure that kids have food. Yeah, I'd, I'd pay tax dollars for that. Yeah. Anyways. Dude, I was also driving in Liberty today, and I'm not trying to like dog on government right now but kind of I am because right in front of natural grocers you know where they like have repaired the road yeah like multiple times they're doing it again they're repairing the road again <laughs> I'm just like 
you guys have so much money to be repairing roads. Y'all need to give some of that money to Kansas City because Governor Parsons just upped the gas tax, gas tax so that we could all, as taxpayers, pay for the roads to be repaired. I mean... <laughs> and sips fizz. <laughs> Anyway. I'm not going to go down that road right now. <laughs> this is Wednesdays with the Wibles. This is Wednesdays with the Wibles. We got real political real fast. I say we. It was really just me. I got political. Because <laughs> I'm driving around all day long on these roads, and I swear, like, I've seen the same potholes for, like, three years. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, they do be not fixing the roads. Yeah, they're really so terrible. I guess, I guess, I mean, I'm Like, right in front of World now. of Fun. <laughs> Yeah, oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, so I'm going in with the salt now. And then I'm gonna, uh, where did I put that onion? Or onion, the lemon. Okay, and then I'm gonna take this lemon. Hi, Danielle! Hi, Danielle. Thank you for joining us. We're making hummus and veggie pasta today. Ooh. Hi, Cheryl. <laughs> she says, you crack me up. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Cheryl. Okay. So I'm taking this whole lemon and I'm squeezing it in here. What are you doing? Might as well give us an update. I'm sauteing the onions and I just finished cutting up our beautiful vegetables that we're using for this recipe. I'm going to transfer this cutting board over to the camera without dropping anything. Saying this out loud mostly for myself. <laughs> I believe Look you that. can. Thank you. Boom. Brussels sprouts, ba -boom. broccoli, cherry, to grape tomatoes. Because uh -huh. apparently they're different. Apparently different. there's a difference. Um, yeah, nice little char charcuterie, <laughs> charcuterie board of veggies. What's the difference between grape tomatoes and cherry tomatoes? If anyone knows, let us know. Is it strictly a size know. thing? Is it because they're bigger or smaller? Size doesn't matter. Well, in my, in naming cherry tomatoes or grape tomatoes, so we don't know. Okay. So now you're transferring it there? Not yet. Oh, okay. I'm waiting for the onions to get okay. sweaty. Well, Later. I am going to go ahead and blend up this hummus so that we can get it all ready. forget that we have a camera going in the living room and so I he hope like stands like... in front of it. I'm like, you're standing with your back. <gasps> okay, one of the main differences you will find between a grape versus a cherry tomato is its shape. A grape tomato is shaped like a typical grape. Must grow to be long, oval shape. Grape tomatoes are long and oval shape. Okay, in comparison, a typical cherry tomato. So it is the shape, not necessarily the size. Thank you, Cheryl. I appreciate you doing a quick Google search for us. That's so You're awesome. The best. Thank you. Wow, we That's, just learned yeah. something today. Yes. Classification between cherry and grape tomatoes. Wow. I feel so much smarter. What a day. <laughs> what a time to be alive. What a time to be alive. Okay. Alrighty. So, hummus is done. It looks like the... Um, noodles are done as well, so I'm gonna go ahead. Isn't that good? Ah, uh, yeah, it is. So I'm gonna go ahead and strain the the noodles. What are we gonna do with it? What now that we found love, it? what are we gonna do with it? <laughs> How are we to know what to do with love except to share love, be love, give love? It's hard for some people. To give love? Yes. I mean, yeah. Some people are, some people are close to A lot to of us are fucking love. traumatized. We don't know how to properly do so. We just yeah. gotta work some stuff out. We just gotta work that stuff out. <laughs> that's okay. Yeah, that's a good thing. That's okay. okay I'm going around. Yeah, okay. All right. There we go. Are we using this pan again or? 
Are we putting all of that? Yeah, I think we should okay. use that to combine everything okay. else in there. So if you just want to like, yeah, I'm gonna grab it here or something. Okie doke, folks. So we're gonna use this pan to combine everything after we like get it all hot. After we get it all hot and stuff. So I'm just gonna take the noodles that I just strained. Oh, by the way, we're using the Natural Grocers. Um, so Danielle asked um, if it's gonna be a cold pasta or hot pasta. We're gonna make it kind of a uh, warm, like not hot. So we kind of talked about this before at the beginning. So if you want to, you can throw all this in like a glass baking pan and throw it in the oven if you want for like 30 to 45 minutes. I don't have the patience for that today. So uh, Andre and I decided that we're just gonna saute up the veggies and make the hummus separate and then throw it all together in the pan, kind of move it around, warm it up, uh, and then just add the pasta. So it's gonna be a warmer pasta, it's not gonna be cold. But it could be cold if you wanted. Like if you wanted to throw it together and put it in the fridge, you could also do that and I bet it would be so good because hummus cold is, Ooh really good if not are the same as being warm temperature like room temperature so you don't know i don't, i mean i do i've had it in both states so okay <laughs> okay oh my gosh i love all the green that we have in this pan here are you gonna throw the um, spices on there that's a good idea yeah okay get Where some pepper you? on there Is and some good? salt oh. just i think that might be back there all right, so two of the three steps are done. We have the hummus done, we have the noodles done, and then now Andre is just working on getting the veggies nice and seasoned. So go ahead and let him know what we're working with. Easy spices today, friends. Y'all know I like my spicy, my complicated spice combinations. <laughs> and uh, herbs. And herbs. Herbal blends. Anyway, so we're gonna start off with some dried basil. We will also be garnishing with fresh basil. If you do not have fresh basil, that is not a problem. Love you anyway. Uh, next, we're gonna do some dried oregano leaf, ground black pepper, sea salt. And uh, we're gonna garnish with a little bit of olive oil. I'm cooking the onions in olive oil. Usually we don't do that, but I didn't wanna combine olive oil and um, grapeseed oil flavors and like have it be super crazy oily so I just figured I'd cook the vegetables in olive oil just this once um, and you also can optionally add some marjoram in there if you would like um, do what you want to do it's your life Can't it's your life, life. <laughs> uh, so right now I have added the broccoli and brussels sprouts to the skillet we are sauteing them and then after that we will add the tomatoes because those cook real quickly on a skillet obviously um, but I'm going to season the vegetables that are on there now. Now I'm just over here enjoying a little fizz. <laughs> that smells so good. It does smell so good. Oh my God. Hurry up and get the spices on there. Do you need me to tear the basil apart or anything? Um, why don't you dice it up? Okay. So we're dicing the basil now. Oh, I, I guess, yeah. Just chop it up fine or something. <laughs> I guess you can't dice basil. Not really, no. Sorry, friends. Gosh. It was misleading. <laughs> I'm very sorry. All right. So are we going to add the basil in um, We're gonna add it with as all the spice? Oh, as a garnish. Okay, okay. How many should I do? Like three or four? Or um, Like four? You know, That's quite maybe, a bit. Maybe we can put it in here and saute it up with the vegetables. I think that'd be good. I think that'd be fire. That's a great idea. Go ahead and do that. Okay. Oh my god. It does smell so good. I fresh love basil. the smell of fresh basil. Guys. I wish we could convey the smells that we get in our kitchen, y'all. It is nigh immaculate. Well, yeah, if you it. would love to enjoy our kitchen in all of its glory. <laughs> Come on. Um, Come over, Come yeah. Hang. My friend Lindsay and I are actually having a Discover Arbonne event on August 12th. So that is a Thursday night uh, around six o'clock at my house and we're making uh, the delicious vegan sushi that we made. So if you're interested in coming and trying some delicious food, 
food, as well as learning some information about the absolute best business out there, in my personal opinion. Um, come over! <laughs> Send me a DM. I'd love to have you guys over. And, um, yeah. Be local, though. Because if not, then you'd be driving a really long way to have some delicious sushi, but... Anyway. A long way, nonetheless. A long way, Which nonetheless. Which you can, again, do if you would Which like. Which you can do. <laughs> can tell you how to live your life. Right. Um, <laughs> I'm going to throw some butter in there, just a little bit. Just a little bit. It's, it's just oil. It's not just oil. It is, though. That's literally what it's composed of. There is a flavor, and it doesn't taste just like oil. There's a flavor. Oh my god, it smells so good. Oh my gosh! It's nice and green. Ooh, do you think we could add some of dash in there too? Mm. It'll go with like the garlicky. I'm sure it would. That's a good idea. I just don't want it to compromise the flavor profile of the dish. I don't think it will. I just want to see what's in here. Forget garlic, onion, parsley, oregano, thyme, cumin. Yeah. Okay. It's on fire. Use that one. All right, friends. See you. If you're just hopping on, hi. <laughs> Uh, we are making veggie and hummus pasta today, and it's a brand new recipe. We haven't made it yet, so we're super excited. Hi, Grandma. I'm watching you, and I love you, too. I mean, I'm not watching you, but you're watching me, and I love you. <laughs> Grandma says hey. Hey, Grams. Um, so, yeah, at this point, we made the hummus, we made the noodles, uh, or we cooked the noodles, and then Andre is just sauteing up all the veggies and everything. Um, and then here pretty soon we're going to be adding in the Roma tomatoes that you can see right or Roma tomatoes. Wow. They're grape tomatoes. We had a whole conversation about yeah. this. Uh, all the grape tomatoes now, right now. now. Yeah. Okay. Right now. So we put in Brussels sprouts and broccoli oh. first with some onion and then Andre put in all the herbs and spices. And then now we're adding in the grape tomatoes to get them all soft. And then once they're soft, we're gonna go ahead. Hi, Maddie. Um, we're gonna go ahead and add in the hummus. I love Hi, you. Maddie. I love you. Ambush in the night. Ambush in the night. Show them this beautiful skillet. I like, will. Bring it over there. It just looks so. <laughs> Check it out, y'all. Check it out. Look at that. It looks so good. Gorgeous. <laughs> Maddie, we will feed you. Come over. We were actually talking about... Um, um yeah, we yeah. just bought some music equipment. Oh, yeah. And um, now we can have, like, karaoke at, at my house. It's mostly so. for recording, but it's it's just monitors and a mixer, so, like, we can connect microphones and everything. Anyways, basically, we have the capability to do karaoke now. So, we're going to have by. karaoke parties. And we'll feed you. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I'm so, I'm so hyper aware of like music on our live feeds now because Facebook has like dinged us a few times <laughs> with um, like cutting our audio off because we have music playing in the background. So every single time Andre's like singing or like allows the music to be too loud, I'm like, no, please turn it off. <laughs> no problem. But we'll be all right. How's it looking? So good. It smells amazing, dude. Oh my God. Warming this all up. So, where's the basil? Oh, you put it in there already? Yeah. Let's use all of it. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Do you think I should? I mean, these are looking like they're already kind of they're bright because they're being cooked, but we should cook them just. Oh, no, I dropped a piece of broccoli. Why would you do that? My second rule. Probably an app dog here. 
hairs in our food now. Uh, well, we always end up with one of your hairs in the food anyway. Oh, so. do we? Do we? Yes, She's we lying. Do. No, I'm not lying. <laughs> <laughs> but Lucius's hair is definitely more prevalent in the house. Just because there's just way more of them. Yes. Okie doke. Dude, this smells so good. Do you want to put the hummus in there now so it's to simmer? Or? Yeah, okay, so now we're gonna add, now we're adding in the hummus. So just scoop that in there. <laughs> oh my god. Other, become friends and perhaps lovers. Who and knows? perhaps lovers, who knows? <laughs> All right, you want to rinse that out? Yes. <laughs> Audrey's like, give me the thing. <laughs> Your hummus is so butter, dude. Mary's like, hummus making master. Hummus maker extraordinaire. saying it so you're thinking, I was just saying it because it's a fact. Aww. The sky is blue me. and you are good at making puns. Aww. I love you. Love you too. Get you a man who can appreciate your hummus making skills. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> it has to, it has to like, everything has to warm up. And the flavors have to combine. That is a thing. This is good. This is gonna be so, like, nutrient dense. It's good, yeah, we're gonna be full. <laughs> this has so much fiber in it, too. So just. Along with the chickpeas, woo! What? You just, just let it sit. Okay. Yeah, just a little bit more in there so everything gets like fried nice. Okay, I'm like, I'm gonna get out of your way. <laughs> no, it's like, please move, move. Please move! Please move! Okay, I'm gonna make... Oh my God, Danielle, that sounds amazing. What? what? Broccoli Brussels sprout Alfredo what? with sauteed zucchini. Oh my God. That sounds divine. That sounds amazing. Definitely do that and send me a picture because yeah, I love dude. your pictures Please. of your foods. <laughs> so what we're doing now, Mary's very impatient. You can see that I am just like, I'm ready to eat it. I already picked out one of those Brussels sprouts and put it in my mouth and it was covered in hummus and all of the delicious things and I'm just ready to eat it now. So what we're doing is we're allowing it to simmer because this guy thinks that they need to get married and become lovers. I know that they need to get married and become lovers. <laughs> and then we're gonna add in the noodles. Basically That's just, we're... just um, we just mix the hummus with everything on the skillet. We're just gonna let it bubble a little bit so everything like release their, releases their juices and they get intermingled in there. And yeah. Is that what happens when they become lovers? Yes. They release their juices? <laughs> That's a, take that as you will. <laughs> oh my God. We are matchmakers and chefs. Matchmakers of vegetables. Leave it alone. <laughs> I'm leaving it alone. I'm leaving it alone. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. <laughs> Guys, I just looked at my counter and I'm sorry. If you don't know what Mrs. Dash's is, I didn't know. 
until like two years ago what Miss Dash's was. <gasps> oh my god! Sorry, I just saw two squirrels chasing each other in my backyard here. Anyway, um, Mrs. Dash is so good. It's like a blend of different spices and herbs, and it has no salt, so that's pretty cool. I always end up adding salt to things. Like, if I use it in hummus, I add salt because because I want to. But you can also use it in, like, uh, different salad dressings. Uh, I used to make this really yummy, like kind of ranch. Oh no, it was like a tahini salad dressing. Um, super good for people with kidney and heart problems. Yeah, yes, so that they don't eat so much salt. And you can put it on salads, like like the tahini dressing I used to make, and you can put that, I mean, you can put that on anything. Um, so yeah, they have a bunch of different kinds. They, <laughs> we should get paid for promoting Mrs. Dash's. Um, they have garlic and herb kind, because that's the kind we use. And then they also have, uh, shoot, I think we might have used it all, but like, um, what is it? Like everything seasoning or something like that? Where it has all the different veggies in it? I it was like a veggie seasoning where there were just a ton of different like dehydrated veggies. I don't even know, I don't know the kind that it was. Um, but they also like Mexican seasoning and stuff, so. Anyway, I'm a big fan of Mrs. Dash's, <laughs> um, but I think we might be close oh, we are. to adding all the things to the noodles. <laughs> all right. Oh, I was leaving it simmering for too long, sitting on its on the pan. A little, it burned, it burned yeah. to the bottom a little bit. Okay, so, so put it in here now. Leave it in there. A little bit Should we add like a little flax milk or something to make it like... If you want to. Just a little bit. Just a, we okay. can do like, I think we should do just some water. Okay, we have this. You got it? I got it. Okay. 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 Oh guys, this looks so good. Oh, will you go turn that back on? You gotta move the mouse. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> All right, y'all. So. Coming from the first time ever we made this, if we were to make it again, honestly, I would probably add more hummus. I'd maybe make like two jars. Yeah. Because I'll bring it over to you guys. As you can see, it like coats everything. Everything is pretty evenly coated. I, I mean, that's what it's supposed to look like, but I don't know, I would want more of like a sauce. So, um, so we'll do the next, next time. time, maybe make like two cans of hummus. And um, that should be like enough for the sauce. If you even wanted to add like a little bit of flax milk or plant milk to, so, to the mix in, you probably could. But guys, look how gorgeous this is. Look how gorgeous that is. Oh, so good. And super packed with veggies. And these noodles are also really high in fiber and nutrients. So. That is what we have for you tonight. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for joining us on our channel. I'm gonna put this down just because I don't wanna drop it or anything. Um, cool. But come here. Oh. Thank you so much for joining us tonight on uh, Wednesdays with the Weibles. We go live every Wednesday at 6.15 and we have a bunch of different uh, vegan recipes that we like to try or showing you our like favorite recipes. So we love you guys so much and thank you again for joining us and catch us next week. Also catch us on YouTube where we post all of our lives. So if you've missed any so far, you can catch up on what we've put out. So we love you guys. We'll see you later.